So let's talk about billiard balls for a minute. So if I have a lovely billiard ball here, so moving with a velocity, whatever, towards this stationary billiard ball hill, there's gonna be a collision. And afterwards, so this one's gonna be moving off this way and who knows what this one will be doing exactly. But, so in this case, there's gonna be a transfer of momentum from this guy to this guy of some amount. And if there's a transfer of momentum, there's also a transfer of energy as well. And so we could say that this original billiard ball that was moving has lost some of its energy. Well, it turns out if you take, in fact, let's just look at this as a billiard ball again, but instead of hitting it with another billiard ball, I'm gonna hit it with light instead. A photon of light. And this photon of light might hit this billiard ball and then get scattered one way or another. So, and impart some of its momentum to this billiard ball as well. Now, obviously this is not really a billiard ball, but it might be an atom that this photon is hitting. And so as we hit this photon, as this guy gets scattered, let's say it just barely nicks this thing. And so it gets scattered off at that angle. Or if it really hits it, maybe it gets scattered off at this angle. And so it turns out, in which case would we expect the photon to have lost more momentum to this atom? When it has a bigger angle. Yeah, with a bigger angle of scattering here. And so in this case, uh, you know, that's what Compton looked at was specifically x-rays where the photons being looked at. So and the bigger the angle of scattering, then the more energy was imparted to the atoms, i.e. the more energy the photon lost. So what's weird here though, is if the photons lose energy, what does that really mean about a photon? What's gonna, um, so it's gonna change its frequency and wavelength. And so in this case, it turns out if you lose some energy, your wavelength is gonna get larger. And so what Compton actually looked at was the change in that wavelength. So specifically here, he looked at photons actually bombarding with electrons. So, and the bigger your angle theta from the incident light, so then you'd find out you get a bigger change in the wavelength, more energy lost essentially. So let's say we're gonna hit this electron is what it really is. So here's if it doesn't deviate at all. It goes on that path versus that path versus that path. We have this angle versus this angle versus this angle. And so the more you go off the original trajectory, the bigger that angle. Cool. Making the equation work? <laughs> Making the equation work? Yeah. The maximum <laughs> energy you would lose is if it hit the electron and just bounced right Straight off. back. Yep. Because you, you would still you'd lose energy because you gained that electron some momentum as you bounced off. Right, what would you say theta was in that case? If it bounced straight back, perfect reflection. 180. 180, what's the cosine of 180? Negative, negative one, what's one minus negative one? Two. Two, and that's the biggest this could be is when what's in parentheses there is a two. Cool.